Hello. Hey, Periscope. Hey, Shalina Dudley. Dudley in the house. <laughs> Dudley is in the house. Hey, Shalina. Dudley is in the house. Hey, Birdie Swing. Birdie Swing, what's going on? What's going on? Thank you guys for joining in. I'm going to turn this um, music down just a little bit while you all are coming on in. Hey, thank you for joining in, guys. Good to see you guys again. I'm on just a little bit later than usual, but hey. Hey, Shalina. Hey. Hey. Hey, Fierce Maine. How are you? How are you? I'm waiting for a few more folks to come on in, and then we are going to get started. How was y'all day today? How was y'all day today? Mine was pretty cool. Had a lot of ripping and running. It's been raining in Atlanta. And, um, you know, I don't, I don't like the rain. So, wonderful in yours. Oh, mine was absolutely fabulous. It was fabulous. I'm actually using my uh, tripod tonight, and I'm loving it. Okay? I don't do all of the... Um, I had the little cup. I was holding my little phone in, and it was just going crazy. So, um... I normally put my earpiece in. Let me try that tonight so I can make sure you guys can hear me good, 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 good. Okay? So I'm going to get started. Let me do this first. All right. Can you guys hear me? Perfect? All right. So listen, everyone. Hi. I am Tanisha Bibbs. For those of you who do not know me, yes, you can hear me. Awesome. For those of you who do not know me, I am Tanisha Bibbs. I am a licensed cosmetologist educator. I'm a hair um, law special practitioner and also a wig specialist, and I teach you the art and science of custom wig making, and I absolutely love what I do. So tonight, uh, we've been talking a lot about um, wigs and building relationship with your clients and, you know, having confidence in your business and things like that. So tonight, I jumped on because we are going to talk about some tips on how to build a closer relationship with your wig clients okay now but before i do that guys i want to invite you to my website it is thecustomwigs.com i want you to sign up for my webinar this friday it is five dollars can you say five okay invite you so those of you who joined the webinar on friday i have a special treat for you my sister she is the owner of natural life soaps llc and I have a, um, excuse me, I have a, a beautiful gift basket that she made from her company. Okay, y'all see that? This is Natural Life Soaps. Um, inside this um, box here, it is, let me see, ap apricot cream soap, all, all natural, handmade with love. Um, coca, coca is love, excuse me. And white tea and ginger massage and body oil. And you can... Um, Go on her website. It's uh, naturallifesoapsllc.com. This, I'm going to put this in the um, drawing for you guys to win. So for those of you who are on the webinar Friday, this is what's going to be in the drawing to win a one of these baskets, okay? So you can jump on that website. Site. But um, So I need your help tonight because I really want to get into 250,000 um, Heart Club. And those of you who are on this scope, uh, make sure that you share this with your followers, okay, and give hearts. And if you're watching this by replay, I absolutely love hearts. So if you tap your screen and give me some love, okay? All right, so the first tip that I want to leave you all with, I know your time is valuable and I want to respect your time tonight. Uh, the first tip that I want to leave you is listen to your clients, okay? Listen to your wig clients and learn. What do I mean? Even though you are an expert or even though you are a wig, and thank you so much for the hearts, even though you are in the wig business, okay, you have to listen to your customers. If you do not listen to your customers, you will lose that customer. So it's so, hey, Yaya75, thank you for joining. If you don't listen to your wig customer, it would be, it's so important to listen to them because they are going to tell you what they love, what they want, things like that, okay? It, it, it is a good time to explain wig care in this particular moment when you're listening to your clients, okay? That's so, so, so important. 
Your clients depend on your opinion. They need your opinion, okay? So when you listen to them, you can give them accurate opinions, you can give them um, accurate information. They want your expertise, okay? They want your expertise. They need your expertise. They need your encouragement. So when you are talking to your customers, you, uh, when you're listening to your customers, you want to make sure that you de they, they depend on you or your opinion. All these people joining in tonight. Depend on your opinion. They want your expertise. They need your encouragement. Okay? So make, you, you know, um, another thing is the natural, uh, for every client desires to receive a great service experience. So in other words, you want to make sure that when you are talking with them, that you make them the center of attention because of the fact that they're spending their money on you. They want quality. So if you're listening to them, if you're learning from them, um, you are, they're depending on your opinion. They are depending on your expertise. They're depending on your encouragement. You can't go wrong. All right. You have an obligation. The first obligation is to create wigs or a wig experience for your wig client. Okay. That will be comfort, reassuring, and encourage your client to have trust and confidence in your abilities and your skills. All right. Number two, to provide the service and signature look that only you can offer. All right. So when they come to you, they're depending on your opinion, your expertise, and your encouragement. All right. Um, another thing is provide your with customers with mental and physical comfort. What am I saying here? A lot of times you're going to have people that have hair loss issues. They, they're, they're losing their hair due to traction alopecia or androgenetic alopecia or maybe even alopecia areata. And you want to be able to give them sound advice. You want to be, you want to show them that you care. Okay. And so you have to show that you know, that side of you that um, is concerned about their hair needs and that you're willing to do whatever it takes, in, in other words, with wigs, to make sure that they are taken care of, okay? A positive, unconditional reputation of a client can build trust and confidence almost at the first time you um, have a consultation with them. We went over consultations uh, maybe about two days, three days ago, and we talked about the importance of having a consultation and what a consultation looks like. So at this moment, the client, it is your responsibility to make sure that this, your client feel client centered. In other words, they are the center of, they are the importance of what you're doing for them. In other words, if you are, uh, giving them quality care, if you are listening to them, if you are giving them your expertise, your, their opinion matters. They're going to tell you what they want. They're going to tell you how long they want it. They're going to tell you what color you want. And you have to, one thing that I do that I, I do is when someone's speaking to me, I always repeat back what they say. So what you do is you repeat back what they say. If they want a, let's say they want 20 inches. And then they want, you know, a number, um, they want a blonde mixed with a blue. You have to be specific and you have to make sure that you talk back to them and, or talk back to your clients and say, let me make sure I understand what you are saying. So this is what you want. You want a 20 inch wig. You want um, the color, you know, you want blonde streaks. You want black highlights. You want, you know, so those wildly important goals. Yes. You want to make sure that you communicate that with them and you repeat it back to them so that you can build a great relationship with them. If you don't do it, they're going to go and they're going to say, hey, she don't listen or he don't listen. And I don't like the way they did my wig, you know. So um, unconditional positive regard communications to clients that you accept them as they are without condition. Okay. Again, back, do you wash your wigs? Yes, we shampoo wigs. Yes, ma'am, we do shampoo the wigs, absolutely. Now, if they're 100% um, natural hair, you can use shampoo. I have a shampoo um, and conditioner with also a leave-in conditioner for your Indian Remy hair, 
we have, an, um, you know, if you're going to use synthetic um, wigs, then synthetic's a little different. There's a little uh, different um, um, remedy for that, okay? client center approach frees clients to be more exp uh, expressive about their self-image, okay? When you allow yourself to make your wig customers the center of attention, they're going to open up about their need. They're not going to be closed-minded. They're going to be like, yes, and they'll be open to your suggestions. But when you go in and rumble in and you, because you're an expert and you're telling them everything and you're telling them, this is what I think we should do, this is what I think we should do, they, you tend to lose them, even though you are the expert, but there's a way to doing it or to gaining their trust without rambling, okay? So those are some of the tips that I wanted to leave you guys tonight. I was not jumping on long. However, if you jump on my website at thecustomwigs.com, uh, I am doing a webinar on how to write or tips on how to give you how to write your uh, custom wig business plan. And in that business, at, in, you know, at the end of that webinar, I'm going to be doing a drawing. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Candice. I appreciate you for jumping on my scopes and um, giving me hearts. You will be winning this awesome, awesome gift basket from my sister. She makes natural soaps. Um, she makes natural handmade soaps. This is the um, apricot cream, the cocoa, 